Uh, intro. Like, it's intro time. Shush. Everyone, shut up. All right, guys. Um, I think it's time to move into the next story. Uh, this is actually a playback to last week's conversation when we were discussing Dr. Disrespect. So, obviously, our positions on this are more aligned, but uh, we'll, each of us will have our own like take on this. I just want to make it clear. Like, we're just having an adult conversation about it, something that happened. Like, there's no reason to get, like, like personal about it in the comments. Like, your opinion is not that va is not really taken into consideration that much. We, do, we don't value you. No, I'm just kidding. We do. But Dr. Disrespect, uh, some of the updates on this story. Cody, do you want to kind of take up? Well, I don't know that. You're the one that's barged into my room and is like, hey, did you hear all of this stuff? It's like, I haven't heard anything since. The last I, episode. I'm only, I'm only uh, like giving you the floor because we cut you off last week. And I wasn't sure if there was anything you wanted to clarify from Well, the only thing I got to clarify is context matters. Context yep. does matter. We, okay. all the we didn't have all the details, and we've all looked at well, least. I, I don't know if you did, Cody, but we looked into it a bit more. We got more details out of it. And you're right. Context matters. Your intent matters and all that kind of stuff. Right. In in the spirit of that, uh, Andrew Schultz, a pretty famous comedian. He's the host of the Flagrant podcast. He's got – he's – honestly, I found him through his comedy specials that were on YouTube yeah. originally. I think the guy's he's, fucking hilarious. He's really funny. He's like the first one going off on YouTube shorts with his comedy and like uh, yeah. crowd work stuff. Yeah, I thought he was awesome. I, I just think I think he's absolutely hilarious, and I think his takes are actually incredibly reasonable and balanced. Yep. I mean, it seems like he can add humor and a heart and like complex takes to almost any topic that he's uh, that comes in front of him, which I really appreciate from podcast hosts. You have plenty of them, like us, uh, who are just biased as shit. No, I'm just, I don't think we are. I think you we don't like the balance. thing I like. Then fuck you. Yeah, yeah fuck balance. off, you dumb bitch. Um, <laughs> but Andrew no. Schultz calls on Doctor Disrespect to release the messages. Um, now, obviously, we're talking about the minor scandal that happened over the last week, and there's been some developments over uh, over this recent uh, week where it kind of shows that the other actors in this in this uh, conversation have been acting in bad faith, and it's it goes a little deeper than we can see. So. Andrew calling on the release of the messages is something I think a lot of people want. Yes. Um, there might be a legal reason to why he's unable to. Yeah, um, it, there might be something like some proceedings ongoing where, no, we're not doing this until this is over. Well, but we don't know about it. Exactly. So, what's been so some of the news that broke after we did our podcast last week was that Dr. Disrespect was actually brought up to so Twitch was following, was following the messages and apparently, uh, Twitch was following the messages going back and forth between Dr. Disrespect and this other individual and reported Dr. Disrespect to the NCMC, the NCMEC, which is the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. Um, this was actually omitted from the original uh, the original publication in the Rolling Stone. I like how it says Twitch ha reportedly had to alert them. It's like they're holding back and it's like, fine, yeah. <laughs> I guess. So yeah, Doctor. Yeah, so Twitch obviously hosts the messages, and to, to whatever degree you are obligated to keep those privated or anything. I mean, we've had discussions about Apple like protecting like messages and stuff like that, and not letting those go, even though a overt crime happened or even like terrorism, and uh, Apple still won't give the FBI like I access to messages. I think pretty wishy-washy on it though. It like depends on like their political leanings. It's like, oh yeah, we'll give you all the messages to this person. So but we're not going to do that with this person. The conversation I had with Snipe um, kind of made it sound like it was more of a. A more of a hard stance against the FBI. I haven't deep dove Which I into can those. Agree with. Yeah, I haven't deep dove into those uh, discussions. Honestly, that's the one thing about Apple that I'm like, okay, you actually mean it when you say private, private, and you know, debate about the good and bad of that in the comments. We'll sell but, it to other companies, but not the government. Exactly. Fair, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, now, the important thing from this is that both the writer who create who did the Rolling Stone article. And Twitch both omitted the fact that they did report uh, Doctor Disrespect to this agency, and they found no wrongdoing. They investigated it and did not, and they looked over the messages and had no recommendations for prosecution, no recommendation for charges to be filed, nothing. So, if that was in the original article that the government agency responsible for overseeing this type of incident are not, are reporting no wrongdoing, or reporting a lack of wrongdoing, then that actually like. 
that actually leads into some of the like lack of credibility on Twitch's part, where because all of this comes from a former Twitch employee, right? Um, that's Slasher is the name of the guy who was on who wrote the Rolling Stone article. Cool name, bro. Slasher. That's his like yeah his uh I'm trying to find in the article his um. Slasher, also known as Rod uh, Breslow, uh, yeah, Rod Breslow, also known as Slasher, uh, was the one who broke the article into Rolling Stone. Former Twitch employee. Oh. We f- we found out about the report up to the NCMEC from uh, from an interview he actually had with another famous YouTuber, Destiny, on Ooh, his God. podcast. That guy's everywhere. Yeah, he's he's everywhere. His takes are medium, but. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> medium. He's medium. He's medium rare. I don't know. I mean, when it came down to when I heard the news that the uh, the quote unquote minor he, he was talking to was seventeen at the time, my give a shit factor for this story plummeted. I I I, I mean, there's a hard line at eighteen. I understand it. I I don't disagree with it. But I'm you're not gonna get me to give a shit. It also depends on the state. It depends on the state. Yeah. So I mean. Consent in some states, I think, is 16. In other countries, in other con- yeah, yeah. Let's all re- let's all rage gross. against. Yeah, take it up with your sen- take it up with your state senators and congressmen and stuff. Like, get if if you want to change the the age of consent, do it. I don't care. It's your thing. But if in other countries, it's even some countries, it's e- it's the same or even less. So, I'm not saying I disagree with the number that our country has chosen as the age of consent. <laughs> I'm just saying you're not going to get me to give a shit when, it, depending on the state, this is literally a non-issue. And we don't even know the context of the messages. That's my biggest frustration. It's like, if I understood the context and the severity of the, of the, the quote-unquote indecency or like uh, improper, I don't know. I'd probably be a little bit more on board. But it's not like he's inviting him to a sex dungeon or, or inviting them to a sex dungeon. That you know. I don't know, right? <laughs> no. Like, true. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> you don't want to ruin someone's like. It's. I think unfortunately his career might already be over or severely damaged, which I don't agree with. Depending on what he what he what everyone said, um, but even even so, you should be able to not be marked for life if you, you know. Well, one of the more uh, aggressive comments we received on our last video was such that that context be damned. The the number is eighteen. It's below the number. I have I have a kid, and it's unacceptable. Let's let's take a yeah. Sons of Anarchy approach if, and just kill. Depending Jesus. on what they said to each other, you know, if if exactly if they were just talking, and then he's like, oh blah blah, I'm going right. to this conference. She's like, oh I'll go there, and he's like, no. Or they, you know what I mean? We don't know. I can't speak to anyone under the age of 18. And it's like, okay, you shouldn't be private messaging a minor. understand that. But if he's just wasn't nothing there, then, okay, we got to give some I even see. I even checked as long as gas station gross. clerks, their ID, to see if they're 18 before I even talk to them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't go to but like a... private messaging. <laughs> You ever, you well, ever it's a whi- like, yeah. I know it's on Whisper, but where you're supposed to be over 18. Yes. But yeah, people get through that. Well, that's time. two different things, so we got to put that into context. Right. But if Whisper makes it sound creepier, why do you have it to does. call your? <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I still think it's not excusable. It's inappropriate. I think, but if he was basically wasn't was trying to avoid her, not like really do anything about it, then we don't need to, you know, go up in arms and say throw him in prison for 60 years right you know, let him deal with the fallout and as long as there's nothing gross happening and right. i have a theory so first off there's the the logical reason why dr disrespect is not engaging with or hasn't engaged with this topic since his post is well hold on let it blow over just quiet down let it blow yeah. over get past get it details out he still has the... like yeah he still has like four million subscribers on youtube he just waits for this to blow over uh, appeals his monetization uh, ban on on YouTube and moves mm. forward. Like th- that's wh- that's probably what his like that's probably what his advisors are recommending yeah. for his publicists are recommending for him to do. Yeah. But the I think the reason he's probably not engaging with the a- anything after his Twitter post because his Twitter post was very very vague <laughs> on what to be uh, yeah. In legal I mean, it's right hard now. to say like if you're completely innocent, you want to get the receipts out as quickly as possible. Oh, it's for like, sure. See, no wrongdoing. I'm good. Yeah, but in the same vein, if he uh, so there was a Twitch loss, he was banned from Twitch. There mm-hmm. was a Twitch lawsuit. Twitch did pay him a shit ton of money, 
And so we don't know what the, the legality of it. Yeah, we don't know. know like was this like uh were you, did you ban me incorrectly? Did you like f like there's an accusation that a former Twitch employee was the one pretending to be a 17 year old minor in order to entrap Doctor Disrespect. That's just like speculation and not, that not confirmed. But I, I mean, you can't. I mean, first off, you have a former Twitch employee absolutely putting him on blast right now, and knowing that he knowing that the agency responsible for overseeing this found no wrongdoing yeah, yeah. and still putting him on blast anyway. I mean, obviously, some of these former Twitch employees have an axe to grind against Doctor Disrespect. That's weird. And if so if that allegation of like entrapment was legit and all of that came out in trial and it was litigated and they settled and everything moved forward, part of those large settlements are non disclosure agreements where you're not allowed to say, Look what Twitch actually did to me. Mm -hmm. Look that look at what Twitch put uh, pulled on me and look at what they're doing. First off, I don't I think that if there's a reasonable way if Dr. Disrespect is under a non if he is under a non compete or I'm sorry, not a non compete, but a non disclosure agreement as per his lawsuit. He should find a way out of that as fast as possible, and and like give him give up every, like put everything forward. Mm -hmm. But you can, I mean, yeah, NDAs can be a bitch. Yeah. So if he if he's under an NDA, which just by the fact that he had a large large scale lawsuit that paid out millions, he probably is. I would assume so. Even if it's even if it's a non disclosure agreement that's completely unrelated to what we're talking about, he probably there's probably things about that he can't say. Um, but I I think getting it out as quickly as possible would be good. I don't think letting it blow over will be better, but I think he's kind of insulated in his fame. I think he's a big enough creator. Been around long enough. Yeah, that if he moved over to Kick or if he moved over to even Rumble, people would follow him. People would follow yeah. him, even if it's half. I mean, let's say his let's say his viewership is cut in half. He's still at from four million to two million. Yeah, he's still huge, one of the biggest content creators, and now. Honestly, this says a lot to me about like Tim the Tapman and Nick Merckx. Is like um, they immediately bowed out. Yeah, they immediately bowed out. Honestly, I, like you guys are kind of hard flakes. Like you don't even know the whole story, and you're just gone. Maybe they, they do. Knew more. They yeah. could know more. They they could know more, but they. I mean, they aren't saying it, and they, they wouldn't be under non disclosures. Unless there's a current, you know, they know enough where they're part of the some sort of trial or some sort of stuff like that, and then they then they can't. That it's possible. Get thrown out. All so to summarize, so we got the uh, the news that broke about the um, the agency involved. That I don't think they actually cleared him, but they did not push forward for that. They did not push forward with any uh, with any wrongdoing or charges or anything like that. So that's one thing. Andrew Schultz is obviously a famous enough person that when he's calling for the release of these messages and he's sharing the sentiment that a lot of people want to know, it's like, hey, we just I, have to know the truth. I would love to know before your life is ruined yeah. that we did everything we could to prevent someone's life from being ruined. Yeah, and as far as like f from my perspective, I, he I is. I agree with that. Yeah. I don't know, man. People like a witch hunt, so people love a witch hunt. But yeah. if Doctor did like, I in my mind, it's just as likely that none of this is true, than all of it is true. Those are the those are equal likelihood to me because it's a twitch. It's a yeah, it could just be a big old witch hunt, and that's why I want that stuff out too. That we yeah. don't want to go after this guy. If it's like back in the wrong. day when they were looking for a witch. It's like, guy, uh, we'll throw you in the river, and if you float, uh, you're a witch, and we'll burn you. And if you sink, you weren't a witch. <laughs> yep, I would yeah. just. It's a win-win for us. <laughs> I would swim underwater to the other side of the lake and just <laughs> sprint, just run, like let the witch get away. Yeah, come out of the woods to a new fucking town. They'd be like, it's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> she came out of the lake. It's the lady of the lake. 